Israel makes its move, unleashes hell on Iranians who get too close. The only democracy in the Middle East and America's greatest ally, the nation of Israel, made a bold move last week against threatening forces in the region. On Friday, an airstrike was conducted against an Iranian base in Syria, Haaretz reported. As reported by PJ Media, no one claimed responsibility for the attack, but few doubt that it was Israel sending an unmistakable message to the Iranians. Iran has slowly been building up its military capabilities in Syria, and has been funneling weapons to its proxy terrorist group, Hezbollah. This strike put Iran on notice demonstrating that Israel is aware of the Islamic Republic's military buildup in Syria, and they aren't going to tolerate it. Iran represents a serious threat to Israel, and any sort of military buildup on the part of the Iranians does not bode well for the future of Israel. Iran has been quite clear that it has an utter hatred for the Jewish state, and would like nothing more than to wipe them off the face of the planet. The Times of Israel noted that Arab media sources claim 12 Iranians were killed in the strike. The Iranian government has yet to confirm this. If Iranians were killed, it could potentially trigger a serious escalation of the conflict. While it would be difficult to prove Israel conducted the strike, that might not stop Iran from taking some sort of retaliatory action. In a separate article, the Times of Israel noted that satellite photos from after the attack showed several Iranian buildings were completely destroyed. The United States obviously does not want to see Iran have a permanent military presence in Syria, but we have less flexibility than Israel does when it comes to preventing that. However, what we can do is support Israel when it carries out actions like these, and shield them from any unjust international blowback. Israel has always made it clear it will do whatever is necessary to defend itself, and this alleged strike is fitting with that pattern. All we can do is wait and see if tensions between these two nations escalate even further as a result of this airstrike, or if both sides will decide to continue to act like it didn't happen. Happen.